chapter 2 which is budget constraint so what is budget it is the amount that you have for consumption purpose now this can be only your income whatever you earn or it can also be income plus wealth whatever your ancestors left for you so suppose they left some house for you and then you get some rent from this house and you earn some income so this total becomes your budget so budget is anything that you have for your consumption purpose constraint there is always a constraint on the consumption so for example if my income is 1000 then i can not consume more than 1000 so the maximum consumption that can take place would be of rupees 1000 now let's talk about the following say the price of good 1 is 10 and the price of good 2 is 5 and say i'm consuming x1 units of good 1 and i'm consuming x2 units of good 2 then my budget constraint will be what so i'm consuming x1 units into the price of one unit is 10 so the total amount that i'm spending on good 1 is 10x1 so for example um say i have i am consuming 5 units of good one and the price of one unit is 10 rupees so i am spending 50 rupees on good one similarly if i am consuming x1 units and the price is rupees 10 then the total amount that i spend is 10x1 again suppose i am consuming x2 units of good two and the price is 5 so the total amount that i spend on good 2 is 5x2 now this should be less than or equal to the income of the consumer obviously so the amount that i spend on good 1 plus the amount that i spend on good 2 which is the total amount that you spend should be less than or equal to the income of the consumer so now let's let's do the following let's see the following so supposedly my income is 1000 so 10x1 plus 5x2 should be less than equal to 1000 now whenever i have to plot my diagram it's always on the equality thing so the equation the budget equation will be 10x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 1000 now let's plot this so on the x axis i'm going to take good 1 and on the y axis i'm going to take good 2 So for the x-axis, I will put y equal to zero. So let's put x two equal to zero. I will get this equal to thousand by ten. Similarly, for the y-axis, I'll put x equal to zero. So I'll put x one equal to zero, and I'll get thousand by five. If I join this, this is called the budget line. Okay. So in general terms. i have if i take good 1 here and if i take good 2 here then this is m by p1 and this is m by p2 and this is my budget line and this entire thing so whatever is the area inside plus this line this entire thing is the area of less than equal to m income so if i take a bundle here say i'm taking this bundle a 
so the total expenditure on good one plus good two is less than my income and if i take a bundle here say bundle b which is on the line so the total expenditure is equal to your income so if i talk about this point or i talk about this point both of them are affordable and both of them co constitute the budget constraint right so then i have the following that this is my budget line m by p1 and m by p2 whereas this is my budget constraint this entire thing all right